And our next question comes from Susan. Now her question has to do with her credit cards. You know, people love their credit cards. And her question is, if I file for bankruptcy, am I able to keep any of my credit cards? So. Alex, that's a good question also. It, 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 it is. I think generally when you file bankruptcy, you're wanting to kind of extinguish that credit card debt and, and kind of get a fresh start um, because you know, believe it or not, you are allowed to borrow money shortly after a bankruptcy discharge. But yes, you are allowed to keep um, certain uh, certain uh, credit cards. Uh, the, the main example is if you have a relationship with another bank. Um, let's say um, you have Bank A and you're paying back a, a car with uh, them. Well, some uh, credit unions have a dragnet clause that means you have you want to keep the car you got to keep the credit card so they make you keep that that account open um generally in a chapter seven you can reaffirm a credit card but mostly most of the time I, I tell people that's not really something you want to hold on to you want to get that fresh start um you know pay with cash for a little while and then slowly you know get a secured credit card pay it every month build that credit up People find, surprisingly, it is easier and quicker to build your credit up uh, after you file bankruptcy. And the reason is there's not a bunch of old, you know, debt that is kind of dragging you down. You're free. So you can really, you're free to, to borrow a little bit, build it up, make smart decisions. You learn a lot through, you know, some of the credit counseling courses you have to take during the bankruptcy process, make better decisions. So you can... It's rare that you want to keep a lot of them. It just depends uh, really on the situation, but that's a good question. I appreciate it. All right. And uh, to both of this, this question is really for the both of you. You know, we're in a new year now, a new political climate. Can you foresee any changes that might be taking place that would affect the consumer? Oh, uh, we had mentioned that in the break and Alex got a good take on it. We keep hearing, I think, both Republicans and uh, Democrats, primarily Democrats, so talk about student loan forgiveness. Uh, seems that student loan crisis in this country is just overwhelming and is dragging down a lot of young people that would like to buy houses and that kind of thing, but can't because of the debt. So there's a lot of talk about forgiving student loans but they also, you know, you can't bankrupt against them, as I understand it. Is that, isn't that correct, Alex? That's, that's correct. I mean, there's been talk about, there's been talk about, you know, them possibly forgiving some for everybody. There's been talk that you may be able to discharge some in bankruptcy. Uh, there are different amounts, 10,000, 20,000. We don't know the amount. But um, I think with the current makeup, you know, of the government, I think there's a better chance than not that people will be eligible for some sort of relief, uh, relief on student loans in the near future. And, and, and I, hope, I hope there is. 